Hey y'all, just a quick update on the hitchable trailers. I have found a much more stable solution. Um, something I found out is when you create a hinge in Unity, um, it allows you to create, um, um, basically you have an angular velocity drive or an orientation drive or whatever, and you're allowed to do all this in Unity through C Sharp. I'm sh sure through C++ if I dug into the code, but through Blueprints, um, you're, you're limited a little bit. You have your angular drive mode, which is Slurp, and it turns Unity uses Twist and Swing, which was just recently added in here. However, you, um, you you don't have um the ability to do twist and swing for um the angular orientation drive um for a physics constraint just added like this however what i found is what you can do is you can drag off a reference from a physics constraint like we have here and we set up all our limits and everything what i've done is i have uh limited the the linear z limit to a very small amount so it's not bouncing and i've locked all of the angular limits except for the twist i've limited to one degree and the twist and swing um you can run into issues um you'll see if you can you can read it again here um that slurp is ignored if any limits or locks are used whereas twist and swing does work however you may have gimbal lock but gimbal lock isn't exactly an issue when you're really just dealing with one axis so what you do is you simply just use this node which is set angular orientation uh drive and then i just uh enable swing drive so basically it just drives around the swing axis instead of trying to limit the angle to 120 degrees so i've instead locked that angular swing one limit which is the z axis so you'll see now um when i play this i can go back now and hitch up and it drives along and it's it is locked but it still follows it very nicely and you'll see i don't fly to the moon even if i jack okay I guess it does go a little bit bad, but I didn't line it up so well there. If I line it up very, very, very nicely, um, even that's uh, not close enough. But if you get it close um, that the bodies aren't too far apart, and if you tweak it just right, even when I jackknife it, it doesn't want to fly to the moon. You have to really kind of force it to get the physics to freak out like that. And even then, they still try to recover, and as you can see, kind of do recover. Actually, it fully does recover. I'm just stuck here due to torque. So um, that is much, much, much more stable. And I'm sure with a little bit more tweaking, I could get it even, uh, even more stable. So yeah, uh, yeah. When you get your bodies like that, it um, it can be a lot more stable. It seems. So it still takes some tweaking. Um, I still believe there's code that could allow for a lot better. I mean, that's something that was hidden and completely unknown to me until I did some more research, but I can drive this pretty much all day long, um, and it didn't freak out. Of course, it does a little bit for the video here, but it's much more stable than we had before. As you see, I can take turns and so on and so forth, and yes, yeah, much, much more stable. So I'm very happy with this, and I'm going to tweak it a little bit further. I've... Uh, I've also got fill planes, uh, I don't think I can get it to work like this, but I posted a video where, as you can see, I've got um, fill planes, so I've got something that grows, and um, there's ways to add collision to it as well, it's, uh, it's procedural geometry. I'm looking at ways to make it actual heaps, but we can fill square trailers and combines and such with this, so... That's definitely a step forward, so I just wanted to uh, yeah, add that little bit that by setting angular orientation drive and enabling the swing drive and possibly twist drive, I haven't played with that, it's much, much more stable. And that's of course on the spawned physics constraint. So yeah, that is all for now, and we will see you guys next time. Remember, create your way.